What's up YouTube? Back again with another video and today we are going ham. I got such a good response from the bait casting way off video that we are back and we are going to go crazy today with a spinning rod weight challenge and I got a murderer's reel of uh, mid to high end spinning rods and we're going to go through them all. Shout out to Finn who's going to hang out and watch this, right Finn? Good job. So I'm going to get right into it. We're going to go in order of price point and I'm going to list the current 2020 MSRP of these rods. Then we're going to go through two categories with a third bonus category at the very end if you stick around. First category is going to be seven foot to seven foot one inch spinning rods and then we're going to move up to seven foot three to seven foot four inch spinning rods. I want to break those up because obviously the longer rods are going to weigh a little differently so I want to compete head to head in the seven to seven one and then the seven three to seven four and if you stick around to the end we're going to do a quick and dirty drop shot rod challenge between Mega Bass and NRX. So let's start off with the um, lowest price point I have right now in the spinning rods and that's going to be the Daiwa Tatula Standard seven foot spinning rod. This is the current 2020 um, or the current 2019 um, cork version of the rod. It is weighing in at 3.89 ounces. Now remember that because this rod is only a $150 MSRP rod and it is coming in at, in at 3.8 ounces, which is very, very impressive. Very good look for Daiwa out of the gate. Next up, I know a lot of you guys were bemoaning that I didn't have any Dobbins rods in the last uh, way off. So I borrowed a few from my buddy Josh, and we're going to rep Dobbins here in the way off. And this is the Dobbins, uh, the 703 SF. So the seven foot medium action. All these are medium, I'm sorry, medium power. These are all going to be medium power rods, by the way. So they're all going to be similar. So we got the Dobbins weighing in at 4.46 ounces, and the Champion XP's MSRP is 250 bucks. So this is quite a bit heavier than the Tatula, but if anyone has held Dobbins rods, you know that even though Dobbins are kind of known for being little heavier rods, they're balanced very, very well, so they feel lighter than they actually are. So they kind of mask the heaviness of the blanks with great balance. So next up, we got everyone's favorite, my favorite, the Shimano 7-foot medium action, I'm sorry, 7-foot medium power X-Pride, weighing in at 3.75 ounces and an MSRP of 280 bucks. So it's a slight smidge heavier, um, it's, a smi it's a tiny bit lighter than the Dio Tatula spinning rod, which is half the price. So good luck for uh, Daiwa Tatula rods out the gate, cheapest, and so far keeping its own with the competition. So this is a little bit of an X-Factor rod. I know I haven't really talked about 13 rods uh, in my channel, and there's probably a reason because most 13 rods are kind of trash. This is the Envy. This is think, this is um, di or, uh, 13's highest end spinning rod, I believe. This is $300. It's got a discount coated grip that's really kind of a weird thing and i'm i don't know i'll talk about this rod later maybe i'll do a review on it but it's a little it's a little crazy but this sucker is msrp is 300 dollars, 300 bucks here we go let's see what a 300 dollars 13 rod does against competition 4.56 ounces which puts it as the heaviest rod so far and it is 300 bucks Yeah, 300 MSRP. I just want to double check that. So let's move up another hundred dollars into the price. Uh, up another hundred dollars into the four hundred dollar price point. This is going to be the Saint Croix Legend X seven foot medium power spinning rod. Now something to keep in mind is what makes this rod differently than the other ones is this one has a Torzite titanium guide train, which is lighter than the stainless steel SICs that the X Pride is rocking. It comes in at three seven two. Now, what's interesting is it is basically the same 3.7 as the Shimano X-Pride, which is also 3.7. So they're basically the same. Same amount of lightness. Uh, I'm sorry, same weight. Um, and this has more fancy Space Age guides than the X-Pride. That just shows you how light the X-Pride is. And everyone talks about how X-Prides punch up in their, in their class for the price point. And here you go. Here's a $100. Um, actually, I'm sorry, the MSRP on the Legend X is $440. I had to look that up. So it's actually $140 more expensive than the Shimano X-Pride spinning rod. And that, I'm sorry, the Shimano X-Pride is $280. I cannot do math. I'm sorry. But anyway, point is, it's a lot more expensive than the X-Pride, and it weighs basically the same. 
So now the last, uh, the last entry into the seven foot medium power spinning rod way off is the Shimano Conquest, the Big Daddy, the 842S, the seven or six hundred and ninety five dollars. Shout out to Shimano for the price increases on the Conquest this year. It is weighing in at three ounces. And I'm sorry, 3.34 ounces. I'm having a hard time talking today, folks. I am sorry. I've been out fishing all day, and I got back, and I'm a little tired. But anyway, the Conquest, obviously the winner at 3.34. It also is the most expensive at literally $695 uh, with the price increase this year on the Conquest and the NRXs. Anyway, so here's your winner and champion, the Shimano slash G Loomis Conquest. All right, so now... That was the warm-up round. Now we're going to go into the 7.3 to 7.4 medium power spinning rods. And out the gate, we're going to come back with a Josh special rod. My buddy Josh, who let me borrow this. This is the Daiwa Tatula Elite 7.3 Randy Howell rod. This thing MSRP is at $180. So it's basically the same rod as the Tatula that I weighed earlier. Just has a different grip and a different paint job. It is weighing in at 4 0.34 ounces, which is pretty good. So there's your Tattoo Elite to start it out at $180. That is the non-AGS Tattoo Elite, by the way. It's the regular guides, not the AGS. If the AGS guides were on there, it would be considerably lighter. So next up, here's another one for you Dobbins, folks. We got the Champion XP. We're stepping it up a little bit. This is the DX 742 SF. This is the 7, uh, the 7.4 medium light actually so this is actually a medium light the other ones are mediums but i thought this would be a great rod to compare because i know a lot of people use this rod and it's it, it's kind of a medium it's just got a really soft tip it is weighing in at 447 now this rod is also 350 dollars, and it is one at 1.1 1 .1 ounce heavier than the daiwa tatula rod which is 180 dollars. so something to think about um again Dobbins rods are heavier. Here's the proof. They make up for the heaviness by having excellent balance, especially with these XPs and the full cork grips. There's so much meat on the end of this rod. When you pick this rod up, it feels way lighter than 4.47. These rods have great balance, so they feel lighter, even though they're kind of heavy. So anyway, let's move on. Let's go up the price point again to $400, and we got a Mega Bass Destroyer Brigand. This is the 7.4. Uh, let's see, it's the 7.4, I forgot what power this is, I'm sorry, it's the 4 power, sorry, 7.4, 4, four power, Mega Bass Destroyer, it's a big rod, it is coming in at 4.66, and it's MSRP, it's 400 bucks, so, you know, Mega Bass is a little heavy, not as well balanced actually as the Dobbins, it's a little tip heavy compared to that rod, anyway, final one, here we go. I think this is probably going to be our winner. As usual, the 872S NRX comes in at an MSRP of 580. Here we go, throwing it on the scale. 355. As usual, NRX and Shimano Conquest are the lightest all the time. So anyway, that's your winner of the uh, 8, I'm sorry, the 73 to 74 category. Now stay tuned. I'm going to go grab some drop shot rods and we're going to do two more to round it out. As always, you can like and leave comments on this video and please check the comments and I will list all the weights and all the results from this that you can uh, go and cut and paste and reference later. So I'll be right back in one second. Thank you. All right, everybody, we are back and this is the bonus round. We got drop shot rods and I only got two of them, but they're two good ones. So we're going to start it off with the Mega Bass Orochi Triple X Whip Snake. So this is a 610 three power Mega Bass spinning rod. Known for drop shot rod. It is coming in at 4.17. The MSRP on the Orochis, I believe, are uh, $280. 417. And last rod in the competition. And I want to thank you for watching this far. And if you could, please hit subscribe. I got reviews on many of these rods already posted. And more are coming out in the near future. So here we go. The classic, the NRX 822S DSR drop shot rod. Here we go. 
Another $580 MSRP rod, and it is coming out at 3.28 ounces. Super light. I think it's the lightest rod uh, in my entire lineup in this contest, which is kind of obvious because it's an NRX, and it's a short one at only 6.10. So, I want to say thank you for watching. If you made it this far, um, you're truly a rod snob just like myself and uh, welcome you to the channel. So, please hit subscribe and I will see you guys again in the future. And if you got any questions, please leave them in the comments. Peace out.